I've decided to make a short video on how to take a classroom into a virtual classroom. And as you can see, we're starting with the Canvas class for a community college. And it's starting on my syllabus page. The first thing the students do, and of course they have this as well, is they come down to confer Zoom at the class time. And note that when the confer Zoom comes up, it gives you the option of setting all your classes up for the rest of the semester, especially if they're repeated at a regular time. So let's say I wanted to join an office hour. Note that even though this says 5 to 5.15, if I just click on it, it will automatically give me an option of preparing and that causes a classroom to open which anyone can join once I give them the ID number if they're not already in Canvas. If they click that link they'll already have the ID. All they have to do is click the link. I can start a video. I can invite any participants I care to using a huge database of contacts, Zoom rooms, or email. Again, my class already would be in this group because they have the Canvas link. I can take polls, share the screen, and in this capability I allow multiple participants, but it works better usually when you have one at a time. One of my most powerful things I've found is the breakout rooms where I create rooms as many as you want and I manually place them into the rooms. One of the modules where they will find the warm-up for today and let's go for yesterday's. And note that this is a PDF for four problems. I'm having to submit below. I have a five-point assignment for it using a simple rubric showing that I can grade it and look at it and the nice thing is that it lets me know how many people have submitted the timeline up here the due available so note that it's available 10 minutes before the class starts so they can be in canvas and do the module and be ready to submit immediately and they have 10 minutes after the normal 20 minute warm up that I have for this two and a half hour class. That the students have a Google Drive enabled. When they go to submit, they can submit directly from their drive. Modules are altered by adding content to it. So, in terms of assignments, things that are going to be graded, you can click on the assignments and notice that I have all these tests. One of the tests I want to look at and show you is like a makeup test for spring break or after spring break. All the tests are in the same format so if I just duplicate it and then edit the copy I just have to change four fields. I have to change the due date Notice that I have do not count towards the final grade. I have to, and I would definitely encourage anybody who has students that are using laptops instead of smartphones to restrict the upload file types to PDF and JPEG. It is really difficult with all the different formats. Assigned to everyone, notice that if I had uh, some students that were really lower, uh, like below F, I might make up extra homework and extra assignments for them and allow them to get back in during spring break. Then you have to notice the due date, then you have to change by just cutting and pasting these. This one right here is by cutting and pasting that, that, and that one. That's all you got to do. Just those three. Now notice that you have links, files, and images. The files so simple. Upload a new file, pick your file. I was disappointed to find that although the students can upload from their Google Drive directly into Canvas, 
<laughs> we as the instructors or, or profs cannot, but that's the way it is. So when I put people in the breakout room, for instance, after chapter 10 test, I had Christian in the room uh, with me. The other students are in the main room and conversing as if they were in a classroom, asking for help, showing their papers to each other, and they cannot hear us in the breakout room. So what we're sharing is my screen right here. Uh, it, I couldn't figure out why uh, two or three of the students interpreted it this way. It just seemed very odd to me. And I found that Photomath gave that answer. And then when I checked some of the other answers, and in particular this one right here, Photomath has no clue how to handle that. What happens is that, notice that he took all three pages. What if I had difficulty seeing it? Well, look at this. Isn't that nice? You can look, move it easily, see everything that he wrote. At the end of the warm-up period, I returned to the classroom with the breakout room being closed. And I have the warm-up uh, handwritten, but not filled out. The blue, green, other colors. The Sharpie pens, I think, are a really nice investment. And what I do is I uh, ask the students to fill it out. They show their version of it, and I write it down. And of course, many times they get stuck or do a little bit wrong. I let them go a little bit that way and then, well, standard pedagogy. So after that, we go into the lessons, which today's lesson was the difference quotient. And again, uh, it's just making notes, writing down, and then we do examples. Hope this helped. Have a good one. Be safe.